This is Edward Loki, and you're watching PTV News. Good morning, PHS. I'm Matt Reisner, and today is January 25th, 2017. And today, PTV has a new honorary guest. Our co host to speak is no other than Mo Yassin. Thanks for joining us, Mo. Thanks, Matt. I'm happy to be here. All right, guys, there's a lot to get to today, so without further ado, PTV News starts right now. Okay, PHS, let's get you out the door to your daily SRT meetings and check out what's going on after school. Right now, during SRT, there's an FTA meeting in room 216, Spanish meeting in the cafeteria, C Club meeting in room 218, and BPA meeting in room 108. After school meetings are robotics in room 141 and winter winds in the music hall. Back by popular demand, you might remember from last year the PTV wacky and funny segment called Simple Things You Should Know. If you watched PTV last year, you'll likely remember it. It allows our PTV crew to interact with all of you guys. The crew crossed many mountains and tra trails through many halls to ask you guys simple questions that they'll certainly make you think. Let's check out what PTV photographer and editor Juan Garcia and reporter Devin Gridden put together on the first installment of Simple Things You Should Know. All right, Nick, what is at the end of a rainbow? Pot of gold? No, the letter W. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your question is, Teddy bears are never hungry because they are always what? Stuffed. You're correct. Yeah. <laughs> State your name and grade for me. My name is Cameron Morris and I'm a sophomore. All right. What begins with T, ends with T, and has T in it? Wait, what? What begins with T, ends with T, and has T in it? I don't know. A teapot. Oh, a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's clever, isn't it? I uh, got gotcha. What is orange and sounds like a parrot? A parrot? Carrot? You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right. what begins with T, ends with T, and has T in it? T? A teapot. I was gonna say T. <laughs> what type of house weighs the least? What type of house? The lighthouse. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> What do you call a rabbit with fleas? A rabbit with fleas. Hmm, interesting. A, a rabbit with fleas? Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> what is at the end of a rainbow? Pot, pot of gold. Yeah, pot of gold. The letter W. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What is orange and sounds like a parrot? Orange sounds like a parrot. Designer. Carrot. <laughs> like a carrot, like uh, parrot, carrot. Uh, That's orange. That's it. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Moving on in other news, the Church of the Brethren here in Plymouth is looking for volunteers in the area of audio visual. Students, if you are interested in advancing your resume in the field of audio or video, this might be the perfect opportunity for you. Training is provided. If you are interested, please contact Linda Starr at 574-936-4205. Church of the Brethren is located here in Plymouth at 1130 North Michigan Street. Are you interested in making baskets while throwing away your trash? That may sound uh, bizarre, but if you, are, if you answered yes, well, then you're in luck. Mr. Schieber intro to manufacturing class has made basketball hoops that you hook onto your trash can. Mr. Schieber is selling them each for $10, which can be paid in either cash or check, preferably cash though. If you are going to write a check, please make it out to Plymouth High School. You could either visit Mr. Schieber's classroom or email him at rschieber at plymouth.k12.in.us. 
If you haven't heard, the PTD class is now doing daily podcasts that can be heard on our PHS website. To listen to the daily announcements via podcast, just click on the announcement button on the PHS website. Students, you can access this site too and listen while you are in homeroom or SRT each day, Tuesday through Friday. A member of our crew will have a fresh podcast for you to listen to. Teachers, if you want something included on the podcast, the deadline is 3.15 p.m., the day before the podcast airs. To add your announcements, just visit the Google document you've always used that's shared with you called PHS Daily Announcements. Add yours here. Well, it's 2017 IHS Girls Basketball State Tournament time. Sectional games are scheduled to begin Jan uh, Tuesday, January 31st and run through Saturday, February 4th with the regional rounds slated for February 11th and semi-state on February 18th. The four state championship games, games that make up the state finals will be played at the Bankers Life Field House in Indy. On, February, on Saturday, February 25th. All Turney Girls Basketball sectional tickets are on sale in the PHS Athletic Office. All Turney tickets are $10 each. Single, single sessions tickets will be sold at the door for $6. Plymouth takes on Laporte in the first game on Wednesday, February 1st. <clears throat> Moving on, let's take a look at what's lined up on our PTV Sports Rundown for tonight. There's a freshman girls basketball game at home against Northridge at 5. The boys swimming NLC tourney at Concord at 5.30 tonight. And there's a freshman boys basketball game at Northridge at 6. The Lady Pilgrims, JV, and Varsity teams take on Northridge here at home at 6.15 tonight. And tomorrow, January 27th, the Pilgrims face Northridge in an intense NLC matchup. That matchup is at Northridge, so if you can find a way to get out there and support our Pilgrims, then please show up and cheer Coach Bales and the team on to another victory. Earlier this week, PTV covered their first Notre Dame basketball game. The 14th-ranked Irish took on the 12th-ranked Virginia Cavaliers, and our very own Juan Garcia and Matt Reisner were courtside. Unfortunately, the Irish lost the game with a score of 71-54 in a hard-fought bat game. Plymouth High School, along with the PTV crew, would like to thank Notre Dame for this great opportunity. Look for more highlights to come from Purcell Pavilion because ND Notre Dame has already invited both Juan and Matt to cover the Florida game. Last week before break, our PTV trivia time question was, how long was the 100 years war? The classroom that called in the right answer first was Mr. Grindle's room. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered their sweet prize, our signature prize, donuts. Congratulations to Mr. Grindle and his class on winning the PTV Trivia Contest. And by the way, if you're wondering what the answer was, it was 116. Well, it's PHS, PHS, it's everyone's favorite part of the show, PTV Trivia Time. The question for today's show is, what two soccer team played in El Clasico? If you know the answer, call extension 1241. Again, the question, what two soccer team played in El Clasico? Call for extension 1241 for your chance to win. Today for our delicious lunch, we will be having beef nachos, refried beans, corn, and the fruit and vegetable bar. Well, PHS, we hope you liked the show today. Thank you for watching, and thank you, Mo, for joining us here in the PT studio to be a guest anchor. Sure, it was a pleasure being on the stage.